The menace of rosewood smuggling has been a concern for government and other stakeholders for some time now. Although a ban on the felling of the endangered species has been in existence for a while, the illegal business still thrives. A recent report by an international agency suggested that some government officials and high-profile politicians may be involved in the illegal rosewood trade. This compelled government to set up a seven-member committee headed by Deputy Minister of Lands and Natural Resources Benito Owusu-Bio to look into the matter. Taking his turn at the Mid the Press series today, the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, Kwekwa Sumacheme, contradicted a recent accession by the CEO of the Forestry Commission, Kwajo Owusu-Efriye, to the effect that the Commission would burn all seized rosewood to serve as a deterrent to others engaged in the smuggling of the wood. The Ministry is not aware. When I say the Ministry, I mean the Ministry proper the Forestry Commission in this circumstance is not aware of the statement that rosewood seized will be bent. And indeed, the seized rosewood will not be bent. We will use it for a different purpose instead of burning it. Touching on other issues that concern his ministry, the minister said the mining sector alone generated a 1.3 billion Ghana city revenue for government this year, while creating employment for 26,425 Ghanaians across the country. Let me say that to date, a total of over 5,301 jobs, formal and informal, have been created in mining communities made up of 3,860 males and 1,441 females, representing 73% and 27%, respectively. Commenting on the fight against illegal small-scale mining, Mr. Sumatra has said the fight has been largely successful. We have achieved about 85% success. There are a handful of people around who are still bent on doing galamsi. And such difficult persons, such adamant ones, are the ones that the law now caters for in terms of punishment regime. Mr. Sumatra may also indicated that government is working to fast-track the acquisition of land registration titles and other processes.